Joining us now, Parents Defending Education President and Founder Nicole Neely. Nicole, your reaction to that report, because we, you and I were reporting on this too. We had you as a guest on the show talking about this. The implication was that school board parents got so upset they threatened to kill school board members. We, we, what do you make of that side of the story and anecdotally and reports about that? Well, it was interesting because we were the ones who filed the public records request that showed that there was collusion between the Biden administration and the National School Board Association prior to that letter's release. And a number of those incidents that were listed there have since de been debunked, including Scott Smith from Loudoun, who was arrested because he went to a school board to talk about his daughter being raped in the bathroom. And so there's a lot of egg on the NSBA's face, but at least they retracted their letter. The, the Department of Justice has not. We deserve answers. So Nicole. thank you for Jordan for following this. Is there is there proof that parents threaten to kill school board members? We have yet to see any. And again, there is no place for violence in this at all, of course. Um, but many of the incidents were taken out of context. And one thing that we found from some of the school board, the state, the NSBA board members of incidents that happened in their state, they said, we wish that you had contacted us. We wish you would ask us for more information. They didn't know or like that that letter was sent by their leadership either. Got it. Okay, let's watch more of what happened with Congressman Jordan and Chuck Todd this weekend. Watch this. So there's a school board meeting tonight. Mr. Jones is thinking about going and talking at the school board meeting, and then he says, you know what, maybe I won't go, maybe I won't speak up, because I know Mrs. Smith had a visit from the FBI last week. The chilling impact on First Amendment free speech is, the, is what we care about. This committee is about protecting right. the Constitution, in particular, the First Amendment. That's the story. That's the story, right? I mean, parents, look at this. Parents in Marion, I Iowa. In Iowa, they're upset and outraged at their school district. Why? A school board member put up on Facebook this post. She's talking about diminishing the role of parents in their children's education, saying, quote, the purpose of a public education is to not teach kids what the parents want. It's to teach them what society needs them to know, that the client is not the parent, but the community. Really? Well, it's interesting. We know a lot about this district because Parents Defending Education actually has a federal lawsuit against the Linmar School District. I love that she used the phrase, what society needs them to know, because this is a district that passed what we have seen as one of the most expansive gender policies in the country over the, pro the, the protests of hundreds of members of the community. This school board really thought that they knew better how these people should raise their children and what these children needed to know about gender ideology than these families. It the is families so, it is so they offensive. The school to not do it because this school wanted to withhold information from parents, exclude them from knowing their children's gender identity. Parents were upset, and this school board member, just like Terry McAuliffe, thinks eh, you have no you have no role in this. Well, they do have a role. It's their children. Let's listen to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis saying it's time to get back to basic, basics. Watch this. We want to make sure that everybody that goes through a Florida university uh, has to take certain core course uh, requirements that's really focused on giving them the foundation so that they can think for themselves. And the core curriculum must be grounded in actual history, the actual philosophy that has shaped Western civilization. Um, our institutions will be graduating students, I think, with degrees that are going to be meaningful we don't want students to go through at taxpayer expense and graduate with a degree in zombie studies. Zombie studies. Final word, Nicole. You got 10 seconds. I think it's terrific. Far too many students are scared to speak up on campus for $50,000, $70,000 a year. That's insult to injury. We deserve better. America deserves better.